Today is um, a normal day that I go out to shoot for Kai's video, uh, for Kai's channel, for video. Uh, very early morning today, to me anyway, 8, 8 a.m. But that's one new gear I have. This is my car. This is my first ever car, ever. Fiat 500, love it. They had rain yesterday, so first thing in the morning. Uh. Before I got my car, I thought I would hate washing my car. Well, I'm not really washing my car now, but turns out I can't stand it when it even have some water spots. Finally, <laughs> but they're hungry. Yeah, my new car. Uh, shame about the pee badge, totally ruined the look. Anyway. Right, set up the set map first. I have every single time I have to connect it manually. Unless I wait like five minutes. I hate Bluetooth, but way of line now so yeah I haven't been shooting vlog for quite some time what I'm doing recently is that I just got not just got my house I got my house for quite a few months already but it's under renovating for the last few months it is coming to an end you may see that on my channel there's not much new video it's just I'm just so busy Let's talk about the car. The car, um, actually I don't know much about cars. I don't know much. This is a Fiat 500, 2016 uh, second-hand car and uh, it works. I step on the gas and it, it goes. Not a very powerful car. 1.2 liters, so um, it's okay. Mm -hmm. And why would I choose the Fiat 500? Is that I love it since when they announced it at 2007. Back then, my boss showed it to me like, oh, he's so excited about this new Fiat 500. And I love it too. Also, why Fiat 500? Because it is the only car that I think it looks good that I can afford. I know that a lot of oh, Ford, uh, Volkswagen, those are very economical. Basically, why I choose this is that it looks good. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, yeah, it sounds stu it's, it, it sounds superficial, su 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 superficial. But if you just base all your decision on just practical reason, then how sophisticated is you? Before I got the car, uh, Kai would have to pick me up somewhere. I mean, I, I don't ask him to come to my home to pick me up. I would walk 20 minutes to the train station and, and then get the train to somewhere and then meet him at the train station. Turn left and your destination will be on the right. I'm, not, I'm still not good at parking. Right. Right, where is the restaurant? Oh, restaurants over there. Oh, it's just, it's him? Hello. <laughs> so, I was, I was looking forward to lunch here. <laughs> Sponsored by? Not really. Well, my telephone? No, it's not sponsored. I do get it for free. Full disclosure. They do send it send to us without even asking. Like, there you go. I mean, it's, it's just one day to arrive. I think it probably gets sent to my old address. They, they keep getting my old address. Last time I lived <laughs> in my previous flat, they sent it to my old address. And then finally they changed it to my current address when I was still living in my old place. 
but now I've moved and I think they're probably just sending it to my old place still. <laughs> you keep forgetting to update them. Update them now. Well, I, I don't know who it is because <laughs> really. they keep changing staff more than I, I, I move my house. So somebody's getting some free road mics. Actually, that's, that's how road works. I mean, that's how road works their um, social marketing. Is that secret? Random I'm, people free mics. Not random. We are not random people. I would say we are not sponsored by Rode microphone. These days, I still see sometimes uh, comments about confused that how are we getting sponsored, whatever. Uh, Rode only sent us free products to use and they never ask for anything back. And I think that works really well for them just because one main thing is that they actually make good products. Uh, it's actually not so confusing about this channel how I'm gonna get sponsored. I'm always honest about just like this video is sponsored by NordVPN, uh, which even for this kind of paid sponsor, NordVPN, I only work with them because I've used them and I know that they are some good products. Which this time, if you join NordVPN for two years plan, there's an exclusive deal with one month free. Just with the URL, URL here, the address, uh, the address you can find it in the description and in the comment section down below. And you can get this exclusive deal with 30 days money back guarantee. They work with six devices at the same time with your account. So I've been, uh, I, I said that I've been using VPN because back in Hong Kong, I've been using them for a long time. Uh, back in Hong Kong, online whatever you wrote online on social media you really don't know what you write on social media could be considered illegal in hong kong when you're not happy with whatever the government do your isp i bet this is not just in hong kong around the world the isp knows your browser history they know where you live they know your name and maybe your national id or whatever and in Hong Kong, if the police get hold of that information, they can easily find whoever say anything online. So that's why I use lots of VPN. How does it work is that it all it act like a redirect. So usually with the VPN, when I go online, the computer talk to the ISP and then the ISP connects you to the website. So the ISP always know where do you go. It applies to all over the world and even in Western country, a lot of ISP actually get your browsing history and sell that to advertiser. With VPN though, when you browse online, you actually connect to the ISP, ISP connect you to the Lord VPN. And all the ISP know is that you keep connecting to the Lord VPN. They don't know where you actually go to at the other end. And Lord VPN, yeah, they know where you go to, but they never keep any record of where do you go to. So that's how using VPN can guarantee your privacy. There are more reasons why do you want to use a VPN. I'm not going to mention all of them here. You can go to lordvpn.com to check it out and check out this exclusive deal with 30 days money back guarantee as well. Find the link in the description and in the comment section down below. I don't, I don't think it's a secret that I can't say. It's back then when we were still at Digital Web, they already want to send us yeah. a microphone. They don't even ask to, they don't even ask for anything. They don't ask the, oh, you, uh, can you review it or whatever. It's just, oh, do you need some mic? But wasn't our boss that stopped it because he wanted to ask them for money? Yeah. Because he found out that <laughs> we were going to get free mics and he said no. And then he, just, he said, let's, let's charge them for it. It's just one of those things. I mean, it's, it, it's it's a nice gesture for them to give a free mic, and it's useful. So and just we give don't, a little shout out. Yeah, we don't have to mention it. And because of that, because you want to charge their money, and we end up have to use some crappy mic. Yeah. The first time they will have to ask our address, and then later they don't. After that, after they got our address, they don't even tell us that they are sending us mic. It's just one day um, UPS comes in or, or DHL or whatever. And then, oh, oh, what's that? Open your, oh, you roll mic, oh, oh okay. <laughs> and some merch. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's the thing, because they don't say, 
therefore I, I don't know if where it's going to be sent. So, and by the by time I realise is when you get the stuff sent. Yeah. And then I, and I don't really want to, I, I can't be bothered to email and say, hey, give me free stuff. Don't you know who I am? <laughs> I just think, whatever, I'll just, I'll just buy it if I need it. And today we are doing um, fruit picking. <laughs> and then remember, I, I, I talked to you before that uh -huh. I, I don't like the idea. I mean, some, some people who enjoy it, that's fine, obviously. But it's like, I, I have to pay to work for them. Uh, well, at least, I mean, not, not, not really work for them. I mean, I, I, I have to pay to do the work, to pick my own fruit. It's, it's amazing how they've managed to tap into this market of, oh yeah, this is, this is great. Oh, I'm picking my own fruit. Ha ha ha, we're gonna make money from people like this. <laughs> yeah. I mean, similar to hot pot in Hong Kong or in a lot of Asia countries. Hot pot that you... Here you go, a bowl of water and then a stove. Cook it yourself and pay us for that. Yeah, it's, it's, pay for the washing up. Yeah. Well, it's, I mean, you pay for the food. Yeah. It's just... One well, of those places you pay to barbecue. That's all right, because it's a pain in the bum to clean up the barbecue. True. <laughs> that's, that's very true. Uh, we only need to take one car in. Take my car. Well, it's my car. It's your car. You can, uh, you can do some donuts in it. Probably your car so I can okay. film. All right. But, and, and he's not comfortable for, for my driving, yes. No, I'm all right. If, yes. we, go, if we go in into the, the farm, what are you going to crash into? Some strawberries? <laughs> you're just gonna roll over some strawberries. That's the, but you've you've had you've driven quite a bit already. Yeah, so. well, I've been to Brighton, uh, Brit Bristol, <laughs> Bristol. Yeah, Bristol. <laughs> 110 I miles. Worry, I worry if you get on the M25 and you see <laughs> Brighton <laughs> when you want to go to Bristol. No, I just I just look at the the, the, Google, the maps. Google Maps anyway. But you you know how to spell Bristol. Not uh yeah. You, you don't tap in Brighton. <laughs> No, I'm tapping my friend's place. I don't have in just Brighton, uh, Bristol. <laughs> well, you park next to me. <laughs> I can see. As soon as I came in, I saw oh, that white Fiat it must be yours with a P, P badge. <clears throat> Look at that, two white cars. Let me don't move too much, so uh, I have to throw it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's our product. <laughs> That's the product of the day. In Kai's car, you can see like, oh, this is from the review of the, <laughs> the, the, the Canon. C I forgot was no, not C70, the R5 R C. And uh, two months later, I probably still see it here. And <laughs> that's a DJI uh, Insta 360. Oh, just in case we need it, but it's just a uh, just highly important. unlikely. Oh, the battery. <laughs> Actually, you probably shouldn't keep a battery here. Get it get hot in the car. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I just realized this is internal zoom. It's a push. Was it yours? No, F three point eight two four. That's not I, uh... bad. Yeah, I have one of these Tamron uh, zoom lenses before. Um, Tally zoom lenses. It's probably 70 to 200 something like that. I've got it long time ago when I shoot uh, airplanes. When Kai Tet Airport is still in operation. That's before 1998. I got that second hand because it's cheap. <laughs> Because that's what I can poor, poor student afford. Yeah, it's really similar, but that's um, it's not internal zoom. When I push it, it the whole thing not internally. This is quality stuff. <laughs> now this costs less than five dollars. Both of them it's, less than five dollars. It's crazy. I mean, a lot of places you can you uh, it's the price for parking. And, and look at this, made in Japan. Made in Japan, I have to manual focus. Yeah. 
Does it have a quality quality pass? No, I don't label. think so. No, no, you have to pay more for that. <laughs> oh, I do. I have it. Yeah. <laughs> We've got two very different options here. I mean, they're both tele lenses. This is mine. This one I've got here, seventy to one hundred fifty. Yours is eighty to two hundred and ten. So you've got more range. But I think these could be quite decent lenses to use, especially for the money. But just how bad are they? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Looks kind of clean. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're like, you're like, oh, Captain, Captain Kai. Ah, ah, hi, mateys. All right, let's go shoot. Binoculars. Yeah, that that will be the thumbnail, isn't it? Uh, too crazy. It's became crazy now. We done that. Yeah, we done. We we done that. We done that first, probably, maybe, on YouTube. All right, now gonna change the mic and then shoot the actual video. See who got another Panasonic S5. Not because it's good, <laughs> but because I need to. Pretty rubbish, don't buy it. <laughs> Still, why did you keep coming back to Panasonic? I like the colour. Um, you, you got paid? No, <laughs> no, I wish I got paid. Um, I like the colour. It's, I, I've got the, it's, you know, I got used to how to getting the colours looking all right. Mm -hmm. That's true. And that's pretty much it. And the, the stabilization is good. Yes. That's it, really. That's it. It's getting boring to keep complaining about the, the, the AF. Yeah. But let's stop. But let's, it's shit. Let's stop. <laughs> <laughs> let's stop bashing them before they really have had enough and then they stop inviting us to stuff. <laughs> oh, it's like, sounds like an alarm clock. <laughs> Wake up. Wake up. So yeah, where I live is driving is still quite important to where I live because I'm not living in central central London. If you live in central London, probably can't get away without a car, just like living in Hong Kong. But where I live, yeah, uh, it took me 20 minutes walk to the nearest train station and train tickets are so expensive. I've been to Bristol and back. Uh, I fill up my car for petrol, 50 pounds. Bristol and back, it used half of the tank. So I paid 20 something pounds for petrol to Bristol and back, two person. But for one train ticket to Bristol, which is 60 pounds for one person, which is ridiculous. But yeah, if I want to live outside of central London with a car, I got much more choice for where I can live. I can live a bit further away from any train station, buses. But I think like now I've got quite a good balance. I'm 20 minutes walk from the train station. If I, if I want to take trains, I can. All this might be boring for some of you guys, but to me, it's something some totally new consideration. This is all new to me. Not just I moved to another country, but how do I go around? So yeah, this is a normal filming day. Um, well, this is new normal because I finally got a car. But also this is kind of an update of what's happening recently to me because uh, on my channel, the updating, I mean the new video has been so slow because it's just the runaway thing. Uh, my home it has been over a month now, but it is on the last streak. But yeah, I mean, that's it. Thank you for watching. Thank you for, um, and I've been good. I've been really good. Uh, living in UK here, so that's it.